Hi, this is Mike. And in this video, I want to share with you why I use the YOLO box from YOLO Live to live stream every weekend at church. We do a two camera setup here, and this YOLO box makes it so easy for me to run the whole live stream. I actually have an assistant who's a high school student, and he does all the camera work and also runs the screen while I'm doing the music, because I'm actually the music director at the church. So I'm going to share with you in this video the setup that I use. We'll go through the whole thing. I'll show you how I use the YOLO box to stream to both Facebook and our parish website. And then at the end, I'm going to show you why I chose to use the YOLO box and why I'm sticking with my decision after six or eight months of using it. Let's get into the setup. All right, so here's the whole setup. I have three tripods going right now. And you don't need to use three tripods because you can actually put the YOLO box onto one of the cameras if you wish, like it would actually go right onto this camera. But you know, I didn't want the camera angle moving during the liturgy, so I use a separate tripod for the YOLO box. Now let's take a look real quick at our cameras. This is a DSLR camera, Canon M50, and I just have an HDMI cable which runs right over here into HDMI 2 on the YOLO box. This camera is a cheaper Canon camcorder probably about 250 bucks. And again, an HDMI cable just runs right over to here into the YOLO box. Now for audio, I like to have nice, clean and crisp audio. So I take my audio feed from the sound system itself. So if we follow this down, it simply goes into here, into a DI box. And then this is a feed from the sound system. So it's really that simple, all right? Just goes right here into the audio in. Now, if you want to listen to the audio, you have to simply use the headphones, which I store right here. So this is an audio out to let you listen to what the stream sounds like. Now, here's what the basic setup looks like. This is perfect. It's so great for a two camera shot. So I have HDMI right here, HDMI one. And then if I want to change the camera angles during the live stream, I just click over here and it switches nicely to the zoomed in view, which is provided by this camera right here. So you can see how it's zooming in on the pulpit. And the other camera is a wider shot. So very easy for my assistant to uh, help me with the live stream. Now, where are you gonna send your live stream? Well, these are tons of options. They're mostly custom options that I've used uh, throughout this process. So if I wanna live stream to our Facebook page, I click on this, Facebook, I enable that. And then I go to Pages, You Manage, and then the Church of St. Patrick is the page, done. So right now, if we went live, it would go right to the Facebook page. Now, if we wanna to go to our parish website as well, we can do that at the same time. I have it set up here, Church of St. Patrick, turn it on and you're all set. So now if we're gonna go live, I literally would just press the go live button and we would be live on both Facebook and also on the parish website. Of course, you can set this up with YouTube as well. Let's go through some of the other settings here. You can do overlays. So when we have prayers, we often will put them onto the screen and then pull them off. Here's another prayer. If we have events, we'll put that up on the screen. Sometimes we'll put the date up on the screen. We can slide that to the very bottom. And our Church of St. Patrick logo here in the bottom right. On the next screen is where we talked about the platforms you can uh, stream to. Then here's the audio sources. So what I have this set up to do is take the line in, which was from that DI box right down here, to take the line in and use that. I'm also monitoring the source with the headphones at the same time. If for some reason that failed, I would actually switch to HDMI 2 and I would get audio from this camera right here which has a microphone on it. Okay, over here you have a scoreboard. I don't actually use a scoreboard but I know a lot of people do that are streaming games. And over here you can monitor the comments that come in through Facebook. Okay, so a few reasons why I chose the YOLO box. Before using this, like right when the pandemic broke, I was using a laptop 
which was hooked up to an audio interface, which was hooked up to the sound system. And then I had one camera plus a webcam, and it was just a really clunky setup. Now, since the church didn't want to buy my laptop and the audio interface off of me, I wanted to find something that the church could actually own and use. And even if I wasn't there for some reason, it would be easy for them just to pull it out of the box, set it up with the cameras, and start live streaming. So, I replaced all of the laptop gear with the YOLO box and ended up saving a bunch of money, also not using my laptop and the audio interface anymore. That's what I like about this, is that it is an audio interface. You just plug in the audio and you're good to go. It also is a monitor. You don't need an extra laptop here to do the overlays and so on. The second reason I like the YOLO box is because of the high quality. This thing can stream with perfect quality, in my opinion. When I was using the laptop, even though it was an HP Spectre, really powerful laptop, it still struggled to encode all of the video for the live stream. This thing is an encoder, so it works really, really well, and it does its job without relying on a laptop, which may or may not be a great encoder. So the last reason I like the YOLO box is because it's always expanding and developing. There's a team of developers working on this thing literally all the time. So occasionally I'll plug it in and there'll be a product update with new features for the YOLO box. So with that said, it's growing and it's getting better all the time. You know, there may be a bug or two that we find and they fix it. That's kind of how it works with the YOLO box. It's always getting better and it's always improving. For my purposes here with the Wi-Fi and the two camera setup, this thing works awesome. Super glad with our decision to purchase this and it's super simple for people to use so that when the day comes that I'm sick or I can't be here, someone will just set this up, bam, be able to live stream and it's totally professional and awesome. So these are just my opinions about the YOLO box. I hope you found this to be helpful and insightful. I'd encourage you to check out the Facebook group and find out what's going on in there. But with myself, I have really haven't had any issues with it and I find it to be a very high quality device that helps me replace all kinds of other stuff with just one little box called the YOLO box. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you another time.